Hello kids, how are you all? Hope you are all doing great. Today we will discuss the grammar, uh, pronouns and then we also have conjunctions. First we will discuss the pronouns. What is a pronoun children? Yes, pronouns are those words which take the place of nouns in a sentence. Pronouns are also used to avoid the repeating of nouns many times. And the examples of pronouns are I, you, he, she, they, them and many others. Now let us see this example. Here in this picture you can see one boy. Yes. So Rajiv loves gardening. Rajiv is watering the plants. So here we are telling two sentences about Raji. So we know that you have two more sentences. You can see Raji loves gardening. He is watering the plants. What is the difference between these two sets of sentences children? Yes. In the second set of sentences you have uh, he instead of Raji in the second sentence. Yes. So instead of writing Rajiv second time, we have used the pronoun he to replace Rajiv. Yes. So we can say Rajiv loves gardening. He is watering the plants. So here he is the pronoun. So generally we use he to represent the nouns or which which will tell about men or boys. Then coming to the next example, you have here, Shivangi is a pilot. She is Indian Navy's first woman pilot. So in the second sentence, you can see the underlined word she. So instead of again telling Shivangi, we have simply used the pronoun she. Okay. So here you can see the women or girls when we talk about that type of nouns the pronoun she can be used and in the next picture you have the boys are playing football they play football every evening in the park so here they they is underlined so they is the pronoun here here they represents the boys so in the uh, uh, they, the boys pro, uh, can be replaced by they in the second sentence. And they is the pronoun to represent many plural form, plural nouns. Okay. Now coming to the next example. Uh, this is my favorite storybook. It has many interesting stories. It. So it uh, is talking about the storybook. So here book is a non-living thing? Yes. To, so to replace nouns that represent the non-living things, we use it. Then we have Tina's friends live in Delhi. She visits them every summer. So here she and them both are pronouns. Them here is used to represent the or to replace Tina's friends. So instead of writing again Tina's friends, we are representing or we are using them. And next example you can see Nita and I are friends. We like playing chess. So I am talking about Nita and myself. So here the pronoun used is we. Okay. And then my aunt bakes delicious cookies. She allows us to eat some of them. So here she is my aunt. As is uh, talking about me and some others. And them is the cookies. So you can see the different pronouns being used children. Yes. Children we have seen different examples. Where we have seen that he pronoun is used to replace the nouns that indicate men or boys. She is used to replace the nouns that indicate women or girls. It is used for the nouns 
that indicate non-living things and they, them, we, us are the pronouns that can be used to replace the plural nouns. Okay, children? So, please go through the video once again. Hope it is clear. Keep practicing.